the ISO 50001 training is for energy managers implementing ISO 50001. The ISO 50001 standard is a standard that came out in 2011 on energy management. It's placing a focus on real demand side management and understanding of your energy usage. It, uh, I suppose the history behind it, there's been a previous versions of management standards. You had the American standard, MSC 2000, you had the, the Danish standard, the Irish standard, the international standard has bought them all together and it's effectively the uh, it's the way forward towards ensuring that people have a structured approach towards management of energy. It applies, well, as an international standard, the, the basis of any international standard has to be scalable or applicable to any nature and scale of organization. So uh, it can be implemented in any organization from 10 to 15 employees up to hundreds of thousands of employees. The tendency is for larger organizations to get involved in it first. And most, most of the organizations I've been dealing with have been companies with an energy spend of in excess of maybe three to four million dollars a year. American companies are starting to become involved in it. They're, uh, the DOE has a program running in conjunction with 50001 called SEP, the Superior Energy Performance Program, which is it's based on ISO 50001. So yes, it is a program that American companies are. I've been dealing with AE in Ireland since 2007, 2006, 2007, where they came over, Barney Kate, Park and Steve. Uh, Steve Parker came over and ran a training course for us over there. We formed our own chapter and got a number of people to start trainers, get qualified as trainers, and we've been running that program in Ireland since then. I suppose one of the benefits to Ireland from the AE's perspective is that we have a lot of American multinationals there, so there's a lot of recognition of the AE qualifications over there. Uh, there is, however, building on top of that, it's become a lot, we've uh, got a lot more sort of integration with other European countries now at the moment. There's a Spanish chapter just in the base, in the, it's at the moment been formed. There's talk of now it looks very likely that we'll have an Italian chapter starting off and in the UK, finally there is some interest in the UK towards starting the UK chapter. I've run, I suppose, on the AE training that I do. I run the CEM training, I run the CEA training, and I also run the CMVP. So in parts of Europe, the CMVP has been uh, the course that has got a lot of traction, but a lot of uh, following. I ran a CMVP course in, in Birmingham last year, and running the one in London in two weeks' time, and the intention is to run a CEM course to go along with that and the interest is there now to, to bring on the chapter which ultimately is the way of trying to bring forward the organization. Initially my I initially started out in the Irish Navy mm -hmm. so as an engineer in the Irish Navy uh, I suppose the one thing I said about being an engineer at sea you're, you, you tend to have to understand everything from uh, if you think electrically from the light bulb down to the oil in the engine you need to understand everything and that's really about what energy management is about is understanding both the mechanical and the electrical and the interlinkage between them uh, <coughs> I had a degree in electrical engineering and I also had a master's in sustainable energy and a lot of interest in the area so when I left the Navy, I went out into a, to an energy, consult, energy consultancy business. There has never traditionally been energy degrees, mm -hmm. but I think if you think back to, I think it was probably 2006 or 2007 when the Russians turned off the gas into the Ukraine, yeah. was when energy became to the forefront of people's minds. So at the time I was doing the, the masters, I was doing part-time at, at the time, and it was the only energy related qualification in Ireland, really the only energy related degree qualification in Ireland. Mm -hmm. And following since that, there's been a whole lot of uh, qualifications sprouting up out of, out of nowhere really. So it's a, there is a lot now at the moment. Well, I think the big, the big thing about the programs that are out there from the college perspective, most of them at the moment are very sort of policy orientated and policy focused or sustainable energy, renewable energy focused. 
uh, the training that the AE delivers is much more focused towards hands-on management and understanding and management and I think that's really where a lot of the the practical jobs like some of the jobs there's only so many policy makers jobs there's only there's only so much money is going to go into renewable energy whereas we all use energy every day of the week mm -hmm. there is a to me there is good potential for the demand side management activities and that sort of training to be integrated into current courses into college courses that are that are out there at the moment but really I think there's a balance to be struck for anyone that wants to get into the industry education and training is only one part of it interest is the big thing because if you if you have somebody with the interest behind it they will be they're trainable mm -hmm. but if you don't have the interest no matter what training you do is not going to really get the benefits